you guys ever like take a nap and then wake up and you're just so like out of it you're disoriented and you don't know what the heck happened now usually this happens to me when i eat food and i eat, or not like eat food in general but just like eat heavy food so i came home from work i mean i woke up early today to go to work and i had slept late last night because i was working on a script for a video on my other channel and then um i i came back home from work with my wife and we ate some food like i had some hot pockets and i had some cheese and then that food coma hit me bro that food coma coma hit me and then um yeah and then i just woke up and i wanted to get to do some some videos today and i saw this this was just posted today what small changes would be nice in raid i wanted to go ahead and do that but i also wanted to put this new promo code in summer tavern in case any of you guys are unaware you can put in this promo code there's been a lot of promo codes coming out i i haven't been keeping up with them to be honest like i think there was like uh one that ash came out with recently i i, I don't remember which one it is but yeah so there's that, and I wanted to go ahead and pull this Prism Shard. I have one, one on this account, and then I have one on another account that I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to eventually. And of course, we don't pull Legendary, we pull Lauren the Cutter, an epic coming out of the Ogren tribes. I would have loved to get Samson, I mean, uh, Vizig, Vizig. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that's probably never going to happen for a long time. So... Let's go ahead and collect this and let's jump into the discussion of what small changes would be nice in raid i think we as a community often expect big changes in raid and boy does it need some however rarely do we ever talk about the small changes that would make us a little happier keyword small changes to make us a little happier now this isn't the place to talk about rehaul the whole marketplace and token trader or a new level of difficulty for the cursed city instead i would be interested in your small changes so if you're watching this right now 55 hb has a good point you guys what would what would you guys do to make raid a little bit better what small changes what is a little button a little tweak something to make just your day 3.86 percent better i like this 3.86 percent better me i would completely get rid of the three percent chance to get resisted no matter what you ever go into a hydra run or you go into some fight or like um what do you call it a dungeon run and you have like 100 or 200 over accuracy and raid has this built-in what do you call it like I don't know why they have it built in. It doesn't make any sense. If I have over 200 accuracy, why am I still getting resisted? That shouldn't be a thing. And yet it is. That would be my my one thing. I don't know if it counts as like a really big thing. But it's. I feel like it's small enough for it to not really matter. But yeah, that's, that's my thing. What would you guys do? Let's see. 55 Hotel Bravo says either give us 16 or 14 silver doom tower keys rather than just 15 so when running super raids we don't have to exact yeah that's a huge small small thing um in fact that's what i just did right now i i uh, went over and i did my my uh my keys for the dark fey and i had one left over and i had to go back and just do a single one it's a small thing but yeah no this is reasonable i think so enable potion mixer to be able to break down big pots into smaller ones at the same rate that we upgrade them yeah exactly so um I can't show you right now because we have to wait for this spider to come through. But if you ever got, if you guys, guys, let me let me show you this right here. You go to the tavern, ascend, potion mixer, right? You can potion up, right? If I wanted to make a superior arcane potion, I could just sacrifice 10 great ones and boom. But there's no option for us to break down anything into smaller ones. Like I can't click here and then drop down if I need specific greater potions or... You know, uh, lo and behold, I ever get to the point where I need to upgrade a Void Champion and I don't have enough smaller or lesser Void Potions, I would like to be able to have the option to break something down, even if it costs a little bit more and it doesn't really make sense. Um, this would be nice to to achieve, to be um, available to us. It's, mo it's mostly just a matter of having things available to us, right? Just to have the option would be a huge bonus for us, I think. 
And I think that's really all that we're just asking for here. I don't think we're asking for too much. Again, 3.86% better, right? Swap out four times relentless rare pieces towards third or fourth placing in tournaments for gems that people are deliberately getting lower to score anyway. What is he talking about? Whenever we place third or fourth place in a tournament, oftentimes we get four relentless rare pieces. Complete and absolute trash. And it doesn't matter if you're newer or into the end game. This is the same across the board. Now, if you're newer to the game, sure. More than likely, you're going to have a use for rare, relentless pieces. But as you get into the later game, you're gonna you're not gonna have any use for them. They're gonna be complete trash. So you sell them. Might as well get gems out of that. That's that's a good I, I think that's a good one. The ability to lock out a single champion on the altar of souls soul merchant screen so it remains during refreshes you guys ever go to the soul merchant and you're like hey, let me show you to the soul merchant and you see oh there's a four star artac that i want to save up now i don't think that you should be able to just click and you know have every single one that you want but it'd be nice if you could at least lock on and hold on to one specific soul and have a tab for it here. Like, oh, I'm, I'm holding on to Artax so that would eventually, when I do get 300 uh, Immortal Essences in six months, I can have Artax fourth soul. I, I don't think that's unreasonable, right? Just one. We would love to hear your thoughts on your wants and needs. Remember, only small changes. They have to be small changes. So no redoing the market, token trader, or a new level of difficulty for Curse City. And I would argue maybe not even for, you know, Hydra or Clan Boss. Being able to read the details of my champion's skills in the vault without having to take them out into the main list. Exactly. I don't have the memory, and if you guys know me, me, Burrito Slayer, I have the memory of a, well, a burrito. I don't have the memory to know exactly what every skill does, and it's mildly annoying to have to take out a dozen champions, find them all again, check their skills, and throw them back in. Um, I would say, maybe index. Just in case you don't know, filter by name, select champion, move to collection, read skills, put back in vault without ever having to go to that same page. That's true. No searching for said champion in your whole collection. I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but you might find it helpful. He's not wrong. Go to the index, no moving needed. Sure. That's exactly what I said. Once moved to the ch uh, collection, I can't move back from the filtered screen, any screen anymore. Have to clear filter, search champ. Yeah, I, I understand what what uh, what Iron Hide Ivan Ivan is talking about. It's just uh, extra legwork. It's extra steps for no good reason. This one, Star Wars Fox says, <laughs> Star Wars Fox, a combination between uh, combination between Star Wars and Star Fox. You guys ever play that, dude? Back when I was a kid. Nintendo 64, Star Fox, me and my uh, my 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 crew, my six year old. I say crew like we were, you know, a, a big group. There was just like I don't know five or six of us, but it was just like a bunch of six year olds playing N64 and Star Fox. I remember doing do a barrel roll. Uh, when you click to see a champion's stats, you see their full stats first. Make the info page second. Yeah. It's an easy fix. Don't understand why it's not an obvious thing for the developers. Multi-battles, stacks of 10 available in the shop as well as fusion uh, rares at low rates. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Multi-battles, stacks of 10s available in the shop as well as fusion rares at low rates. Available in the shop. So I guess you could add them in here. That would be an awesome addition here. Or even, or even in the tag team arena. If we could buy multi-battles here or in the clan shop that would be an awesome addition the clan shop imagine if we could just buy you know instead of silver we we could buy uh, multi-battles but then i guess they would lose value from what is it i think it's this one the forge was it the forge pass or the xp boost one of these the raid card gives you extra but the raid card isn't available on what do you call it on the pc you have to do it on the mobile this, for the love of God, this. Running out of multi-battles is such an issue when you don't want to sit in front of the game for hours leveling chickens. Easiest W ever for Polarium. Yeah, sell multi-battles. Fusion rares, low rates, yeah. That's what RSL helper is for. I would have stopped playing without it. Yeah, but not everybody has a PC. I play mainly on mobile, so I can't use that. So as 
uh, much as RSL is helping, it does nothing for mobile players only who are the ones running out of multi battles. Exactly. Download Auto Clicker for your phone. Yeah, but what about those with iPhones? I have an iPhone. I don't. I can't. I can't download an Auto Clicker. I think you have to pay for one. I don't. I don't really remember. Being able to see the names of champions in my soul collection. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a good one too. Because right now, if you go to your soul collection, I don't know who Crixia is. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who Phidias is. Siegfried? Who? Uh, I don't know who that is. Nergigante Archer. I'm never going to get her, so I don't even know why I'm holding on to that. And what was this wild thing I saw? Did you guys see they were, they were selling skins for like... What was it? No, no, no. I saw them. They were selling champion skins. I, th I thought I saw them selling one for Nut and Trunda. And it was like, it was an absurd amount, like 30 bucks. And you know why that is? Because in League of Legends, if you guys aren't aware, let me just show you guys real quick. So in League of Legends, $500 skin. In League of Legends, they're, they, for some reason, decided it was, it was a smart idea to sell a skin. And of course, it's not just the skin, but it comes with a bunch of other things for $500. It's actually $520. It comes in a bundle that you get a bunch of other things. But still, $500 for a skin. So Polarium probably saw that, hey, these guys are doing it. Let's do the same thing with us and see who bites. And you know what? People bit. I guarantee you people are people have bought this it's it's crazy but yeah people have bought this people have bought this skin yeah it's obviously a really nice looking skin you also get a background in game that you can look at for like 60 seconds when you're queuing up but but i mean come on who's gonna pay 500 dollars for a skin now i'm not saying i i'm not telling people how to spend their money but come on dude and you know what it, you know what it is, right? You, it takes it takes one, one area to do it, and then before you know it, everybody's doing it. In the same way that they had the uh, Amazon Prime increase in price, so Amazon Prime used to have a bunch of free um, shows you could watch, but now you have to pay two ninety nine, which doesn't make any sense because if you're already paying a hundred dollars for an Amazon Prime membership, why do I have to pay another two ninety nine? for the ability to watch ad uh, ad free ad free shows it doesn't make any sense same thing here you know if we start buying and paying into this guess what Polarium's going to do this more and more and more and you know i i I'm, I'm a guy who likes to collect skins i'm all about it i like skin um you know i would love to have a bunch of these other skins but ultimately like if i were to end up buying 15 dollars for Rhonda's Glacial Fury Pack, well, guess what? Polarium's going to see that, and I'm going to feed into that, and I don't want to be part of that. And I just don't have money like that. So, yeah. Removing level 60s from the list in the sparring pit. Yeah, that's a good one. I wish this button we have in the tavern that flips your roster to be in campaign, champion, uh, dungeons. What is this one? Oh, Yeah. It's annoying to have to scroll through the champions list every time to reach your common and uncommon champions you want to train for food. Also, a button that gets you back to the main page wherever you are in the game. Sometimes you have to click so many times to get out of different pages. Yes, for people with huge rosters who bought all the slots, it's a real pity to scroll all the way down. The dots. The red dots. <laughs> yeah. You ever go to a raid and there's just all these red dots here and you're just like, oh my god. It's annoying. I can't do it. Yeah. I, I, I log into other people's accounts sometimes to do, uh, I don't know, account work or just to check things out for, uh, you know, whatever reason. And I always log in and there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of red, red tabs. And it's just, it's just crazy for me to have to uh, jump into. Yeah, I'm selling all these things here, flats. You end up with a lot of relentless pieces, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to keep merciless gear. No matter what I roll here, I'm going to keep it. Just because it's such an insane set. Is this not one of the most insane sets? I can't wait to get a full nine-piece set for Merciless to throw that onto Rotos. Look at this, guys. I know you guys already know what it is. But still. 
35% ignore extra speed attack crit damage, 30% chance to decrease a random school kill uh kill down cooldown by one when dealing damage, and then a 15% chance. It's not 18% like relentless, but still 15% chance of taking an extra turn. Now Rodos already does take a t um have a chance to take an extra turn on his A1, but imagine if you could just keep roll. I mean he's he does he already takes a lot of extra turns. Maybe I don't even need a full right because he usually kills with this he already, he's already got a 25 percent chance on this but it's still nice to be able to just keep snowballing it's still a nice nice thing to have yeah can't wait to get that now sorry my cat is jumping all over the place i don't understand what they're doing every time every time i'm sitting here doing nothing and then they mess around whenever i start talking to the camera would you like to refer to a friend to uh when i say that okay anyway Quick Battle Hydra, Quick Battle Minotaur, Super Raid, 25x, 100x Minotaur. I feel like, even though I would love to have a Quick Battle for Hydra, it's not... It's a big thing. It's not a small thing. You can't really have a Quick Battle because of uh, Hydra Clash. People would just spam Hydra until they get super uh, ultra lucky with zero effort. Exactly. So basically the same thing, just one second versus one hour. Yeah, that's a good argument. That is a good argument. A slider to pull any number of shards between 1 and 1 to 10. Oh, yeah. 1 to 100. Yeah, because we live in that day. Yeah, so a slider to decide, like, oh, uh, if I wanted to pull shards and, you know, I, I... Like, oh, I have 10 ancient shards, right? I want to pull 10 ancient shards. Oh, but I really want to get to specifically 120 from this. Or, I have, sorry, I have 131 ancient shards. I want to pull exactly 11. There's no there's no slider or anything to pull exactly 11. It's such a small thing, but that's what we're talking about, right? So if I wanted to even out, I pull 10 ancients right here, and then I have to wait and then pull one more just to even out. And you're, you're probably thinking like, oh... Um, you know, it's no, it's no big deal. Yeah, it's no big deal. But some people are very anal about it, about very specific round numbers. So yeah. Add filter for level of gear. That's a good one. For example, filter out any gear from twelve to fifteen for upgrading during events. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. Also, I I often use level of gear as a tag substitution, like level one and eight not reviewed fresh gear. Nine to ten is upgraded, reviewed once. Marked as having some potential, RSL, RSL Helper has such a filter, and it's useful. Yeah. Allow us to click Edit Team or Edit Dungeon from the Victory Fail screen when we don't have energy or keys, so we can check or change them, or simply uncheck raids, uh, Super Raids to do regular runs, maybe even include a checkbox right on the Victory screen. Yes, no problem. Run. Yes, that's a good one too, because if you don't have enough energy and you want to edit your team... You don't have the option to do that straight from the victory or the or the fail screen. You actually have to uh, leave and then try to go back. And sometimes when you try to go back, it tells you, oh, you don't have energy to run a dungeon run. So you can't even check your team. When you go to your champion page from the stage in Curse City, it has relevant filters pre-applied. This should be added to Faction Wars and Doom Tower Secret Rooms. Yes, 100%. Case in point. Faction Wars, right? I want to do something. I want to look at champions, and I end up looking at champions that aren't in this faction when I only want to look at these champions. Now, when we go to... Not Doom Tower. When we go to the Cursed City, there is conditions applied, specific champions only. You go to Champion tab, you can only see the champions for this specific stage. And when I go to another stage, let's go over here, I'm going to see the champions... For this specific stage, it's already filtered out, and the same thing here, right? Only champions here. That would be nice to have in the other places. Please, oh my god, I really hope they add this. Sell artifacts from the upgrade sc screen. Sell artifacts from the upgrades. Oh yeah, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool because no longer would we have to go back to the main screen and then sell the exact thing not the main screen but like uh the place that has all our gear the gear list and then sell them one by one and then continue sorting through our gear that's just that's a small thing but yeah nomad chicken a friends list that would be cool 
dummy arena fights with my friends to duel yeah that that I, we've been talking about this for a long time right being able to have friendly fights with your friends like oh uh, i want to fight my clan mates i could you know, become friends with them and then battle their defense or something or being able to i think like a really huge thing would be to do live arena but scope out not to snipe certain people like oh um i want to i don't know fight my clan leader in live arena i think that would be pretty fun that would be pretty fun or dude this person in english chat one is talking mad shit like let's let's hash it out in <laughs> i mean in in pixel form let's let's hash it out let's see who's got the better better team and that would be a pretty fun thing and not only that the ccs could get together and create a new type of tournament that would obviously be a huge hit in the community that would be a, a, a huge jump in popularity in, in raid i think not i don't know maybe it's a huge thing but it's definitely something that would be worth um the ire of a lot of people because participating in tournaments like that oh like like that's something that i would do if i could host a tournament like this where everybody gets together in live arena and i could just be like all right the, the prize is 20 bucks and uh, i'll you know i'll we'll just get together it's a community thing I'll, I'll give you 20 bucks of my own money if you whoever the winner is and the runner-up gets like 10 bucks third place gets five bucks you know what i mean like it's it's such a small thing but it would be such a, a great thing for the community yeah so being able to snipe or you know choose who you want to fight in live arena every now and then even if it costs something like oh you want to use five tokens that you i don't know have to use gems for or, or i don't know i'm pretty sure they'd find a, a way to monetize it but I'd, I'd be willing possibility to transfer a champ into the re relevant relevant star chicken in order to have better visibility and storage good in-game private chat you mean clan chat arena 2v2 no nah, i know what he means i'm being a little dick right now um yeah private chat would be nice arena 2v2 two players join and pick champions by turn this would be pretty cool imagine teaming up with somebody else and going up against some, um, another set of two people, that would be pretty fun. PvP tournaments, PvP, uh, PvP tournaments by clan, team solo, yeah. Um, that kind of harkens back on being able to snipe specific people. Different, more competitive arena PvP modes, option to stop pop-ups. So this one, that would be pretty cool. They definitely find a way to monetize PvP, because anytime they turn things into PvP, it becomes... A cash grab option to stop pop-ups would be nice but polarium makes a lot of money with ads so the more ads they pop up the more the more likely they're going to be able to uh get money out of that and so that's what they're going for they're definitely going for that show duplicate champ buttons tired of the yeah tired of match the face or have the have to type the name exactly I would like to see the names of champions in arena so I don't have to know all the enemies champions by avatar only. Kind of the same things here. USN UN USNC Halo. You guys play Halo? I love Halo. I wish it stopped telling me that my team doesn't have a fucking aura when I use my Sand Devil team. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. The DT key uh, system is stupid. Normally you have 10 keys, then you have plus 5, plus 1 from secret rooms, just make everything. Yeah. What he said, I would love the ability to mix in uh, middle oil powder, don't care. Option to go to the portrait for my soul collection to see which champion the soul belongs to and if it's worth keeping. You cannot group select unwanted artifacts and sell them right away in the forge. After crafting, you have to select them and confirm twice manually to sell. This is more of a medium QOL change, but a more in-depth team loadout system. Let us control the first few turns. Maybe be able to set if then clauses like if any opponent has buff stone skin, then use X, Y, and Z. If any opponent has buff count three plus, then use that. I think that's a big overhaul for quality of life. I wouldn't consider that to be small because I feel like there's a lot that would go into that. Building a uh, building a priority list like this would give a ton of control over area arena defenses and building auto teams for dungeons where you could build. A list like that for certain scenarios which is true right if you could control each wave in dungeons specific turns that would be a good idea right but i think he's like saying more in-depth 
uh, situations. Yeah, I was going to show you guys, and then I realized, wait, what am I talking about? You can you can control every turn, but it's not that in-depth. It's, it's very surface level, but, you know, in time, put a ton of champ or put names of champions in the Soulstone collection page so you know who you have, um, who you actually have souls for. Put the names of champs you're fighting in the campaign. Yeah, exactly. Identify who you're fighting and look them up. Total poison count after potion. Oh, total potion count after the potion dungeon battles. Champion names in the soul vault. The full champion filter that allows us to select by any of the options in all areas. It would make team building easier and less chunky, even in the champion index. What if I want to see if any champion has a combo of abilities that I want? Then I can watch for that champion in events or if they pop from shards. Yeah. So there's a lot of things here that a lot of people in the community like this. This is a really good post. I think it, it gives insight into what the community feels like the game needs and obviously it's not huge a lot of these are not huge things but um like these small things are like little wins and it's usually the little wins that add up into bigger things allow for 10 of each oil to be upgraded to one of the next type yeah same for skill books that would be huge too the ability to upgrade a set of gear at once instead of equipping it and then doing it takes too much time one by one yeah, let me know what you guys think.